King Kumalo Lobengula hailed from Zimbabwe. After his death, his family was moved to South Africa by colonists, where they were placed in different places and ended up in Makanda in the 1940s. The museum was formed in 2018 to preserve his history. This historical building was the homestead of the Lobengula family. We're trying to get to, to establish a route that will link all the sites that they, 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 they used to stay in. As we know, they used to stay in, um, they first stayed in, in uh, Bathurst, and then from Bathurst they moved to Pedi, and then from Pedi they, they came here. So basically that is the route that we're trying to, to create. The plan is to make the museum a tourist attraction and conduct research about the Lobengula family tree. During the arts festival, the, here in the township, we don't find places where children can come and perform. So we want to create this place as a place where they can come and perform, act, do some act. The Sara Bartman District Municipality has set aside funds to refurbish the museum to become a tourist attraction. Our key role um, as a district is to market um, destinations or local municipalities as key destinations that could be visited by not only domestic tourists, but also international tourists. If you research the history of Maka, former Makana municipality, you realize that it was also designated as a city of saints by virtue of having all um, those heritage churches that are in Makana. Also, you, when you look at Makana, you realize that it's a, it's a municipality that is full of history and heritage. So the project was befitting our scope. The official launch of the museum is expected to take place in March. Nandi Babla SABC News, Makanda.